Hey everybody, I'm Gabby and today I'm going to guide you through a 26 full body workout. This one is Pilates and bar inspired. You don't need any equipment, but I would advise you do grab a soft surface. I've got my Pilates mat, something to protect you from the floor because you're gonna need it for those elbows and those forearms. I'm gonna give you modifications throughout. I want you to comment down below and tell me at the end of the video, what was your favorite move? What was your favorite bit? Which bit did you die in the most? Tell me down below. Make sure you check out my Instagram as well, at Taylor Tone. Okay, pause it, mentally prepare yourself for the burn if you need to, grab everything you need right now, and let's get straight in to it. So you're gonna bring your feet wider than your hips, and you're gonna send your toes all the way towards me. I want you to bring your hands in towards the prayer and roll the shoulders down. We're gonna move to the left side, so we're gonna go down lunge, and then lift up that toe. Down lunge and lift up toe. Any knee injuries here, just take a little bend and lift, but if you can, down lunge, lift and tap. Down lunge, lift and tap. We take it down, take it up, keep going. Just three this side and lift, you've got two. Lift up, one more, just one more. Down, lift, other side. Right side, lift up. Right side, lift up. Right side, lift up. Again, knee injuries, just take a little bend or just step to the side and lift it up. Drop down, lift up. Drop down, lift up. Four here, lift it. Push those palms together. You've got this. You've got two, lift, one, lift. Face in towards your mat and your soft surface. I just want you to draw your chin into your chest. You're gonna tap the floor and nod the head yes and shake the head no. Again, nod the head yes shake the head now. A little bend through those knees and you're going to drop down today on towards the side body. Bringing it towards the side body, bring the elbow to the shoulder, fingertips forwards, toes here in line with your glutes. You're going to push into this hand, we're going to open into a clap. Go lift and press, low back down. So just like that, push into these fingertips, draw the hips away, open that knee, back down now add the arm and it gets a little easier so we open we reach the sky we bring it down and tap the floor inhale exhale open to the sky push that side hip all the way towards the ceiling the lights wherever you are if you're outdoors <laughs> to the clouds back down again you've got three of those lift and press go take it down you've got two more lift and reach Take it down. Now, can we hold this one? We lift, press, reach. Keep that hand high, knee high, top hand. All the way under, wrap it. All the way up and reach it. All the way under, wrap it. Then all the way up and reach it high. All the way under, wrap. Go all the way up and reach. One more. Wrap it under, reach it up. Hold the hand high. Now, top knee, close it. Top knee, open it. Yes, I know. Two of these. We extend press, one more, we close it, extend press, now hold, keep that knee up. Either stay there, if you want your advancement today, lengthen this leg, further advancement of leg lengthens, push those hips, six, four, five, four, you're out in three, two, one, drop to the hips, you're gonna now roll in towards a little all fours position. All fours. I want you to lengthen this left toe to me, extend. You're going to tuck the back toe, lift the knee, lower that knee, lift it up, low back down. Just warm the upper body here. Even though you just did that clamshell set, we're warming up through parallel. We lift the knee, lower the knee. Three here. We got two here. Now, last one, lift and hold. This outside leg, bring it in. Knee under the hips. Squeeze the belly button in as tight as you can. Eye line in front of those fingertips. Hold this box position and zip up through that waistline. You've got stillness here. Give me all you've got. For eight, for seven, for six. Drop those knees down in five, in four. Drop the knees in three, two, one. Well done. Second side. So now you're going to bring your left elbow under the shoulder. Fingertips forwards towards me. Toe comes in line with the seat. We go. Press and push. Now, if you want to, straight away. It is easy for me, I don't know about you. Easy for me if I reach up, I use this arm as a little bit of momentum. 
we reach it all the way up, extend. Maybe take that eye line too. Your elbow needs to be directly into the shoulder. You're reaching that hip away from the ground. Press into the forearm, working the upper body, working the seat here too. Drop it down, working that waistline. All the way up, press, reach. You've got this. All the way back down. Give me two more. Press it up into that clamshell. Bring it back down. One more. We press up to that clamshell. We hold. Your top hand's going to go all the way back down. All the way up. Go all the way under. Keep that knee lifted all the way up. Two. Under. Whew. Who's burning? Lift it up. One more. Go under. Go up and hold. Top knee. It comes down in that press. Goes open in that clamshell. At this point, you will need to make sure you definitely have that soft surface underneath your forearm. Otherwise, you'll really feel now with the forearm. You got two more. Lift it. We lower it one more, hold this one. Lift, open, hold for six, for five. You're gonna roll head to left in four, three, two, one. Well done, drop down. Oh, oh my gosh. You're gonna lift yourself up now. Bring your hands now wider than your mat, just to the edge of the mat, spread the fingertips. Keep the shins on the floor. We're gonna dive the head forwards into a push up. We slowly lower, we slowly lift and press. Slowly drop down. Slowly press the floor away. It's really important here, you aim for your bra to come in between your thumbs. Crown of the head drives twice. I can't really emphasize that enough. If you're coming here and the head's going in between your thumbs, you're doing it slightly wrong. So really try body weight forward, lift up. So we're going strength training. So strength training is all about finding some form of resistance as you push through movement. And in today's class, you are using that body weight. We push and press as resistance. You got two of those. Go all the way down. Oh, all the way up, press. You got one more. Stick with me all the way down, all the way up and press to the top. Stay there. Now option, either come down on towards the bottom of those thighs, or if you're feeling super strong today, tuck the toes, we're gonna go halfway. And we're gonna go pulse it. So if you want to, you're on the knees, maybe feeling super strong today, tuck the toes, drop. You got eight, you got seven, you got six, yes, go five, go four, pulse it, three, two, whoo, one, well done. Lift yourself up, flipping onto your back now, coming all the way around on towards your back. I want you to roll down and bring the hands behind the head. Breathe, inhale, elbows come to the peripheral vision. Breathe, exhale, scoop up, make as many wrinkles and rolls in your belly, in your t-shirt as you can, and lift one leg to a tabletop, other leg to a tabletop. This left leg, we go down and tap, lift it up again, now the leg goes long and lower, we lift it up with the leg, go down and tap, lift it up, uh, we go long and lengthen, back to the center. So if this is too much for you here to hold the crunch, if you want the modified version, keep the back down towards the floor. If you've got the back on the floor just like this, you need to make sure you've got that lumbar spine into the floor. Lumbar spine into the floor. We go back up again. How many times do I say that day? A lot. <laughs> Lift it up, lengthen, press. I teach five days a week, at least two to three classes a day. Sometimes four, those are the hard days. I think I repeat myself so many times when I say lumbar spine to the floor, but it's really vital, and belly button in, but it's really vital to get the perfect technique, sorry I'm burning, to get the perfect technique, obviously to stay safe, but also to get the best results. If we're in that crunch, yes, you'll be on fire now. Lift it, lengthen it, lower, stick with me. We've got two more full cycles, up and down. This is one more, stick with me. We go tap, lift, lower. Now back to a tabletop. If your head, neck, shoulders on the floor, stay right there. If you're up here, stay right here. Option to lengthen those arms and we're just gonna hold. Breathe, inhale. And as you exhale, lift one inch higher. Option to extend those legs in front of yourself. Find strength in your stillness for eight, for seven, hold it six, Five, can you get a little higher? Chin to the chest, hold that go full. You got four, you got three, two, one. Knees in, rock back, rock forwards. Hands down, fingertips slightly turn up, then the elbows, modified option. Hips stay down, advance, hips lift. We're dropping down through the elbows, up through the arms, more triceps. Down through those arms, up, press, lift. If you want the modified version, hips are here, 
towards your heels. If you want to advance, hips are either central like this in between, or you can try bring those hips back towards your hands. Lift up, further modification. Hips stay down here. Keep going, whatever your option is today. Keep going, keep bending, extending. Inhale, bend it down. Exhale, press, extend. Inhale, bend it down. Exhale, press, extend. We've got two more. Inhale and bend. Exhale and push. We've got one more. Inhale and bend. Exhale, push. Now you're going to bend through the elbows and we're going to try and hold the bend. Elbows are bent. Don't flip the palms back just because it's hurting. Now, little bend, little wrap. Little, oh my gosh, little wrap. Little bend, little wrap. Bend the elbows, wrap the arms. Bend the elbows, wrap the arms. Three. Oh, you've got two. Wrap. One. Wrap. Now straighten the arms. Oh, push those hips now up to the sky. Dig the heels in. Raise those glutes up. Eye lines forwards. Now dig the heels in. Send the toes off. We're going to press the hips. Up squeeze for 15 seconds. Up press. Up press. Straighten the arms. Shine the heart forwards. Don't lock through the elbows. You'll damage the wrist. Little press. Little press, little press. You're out in three, two, one. Well done, you've made it through your first 10 minutes. My arms are on fire. Lift yourself up, roll through the wrists. And now, make sure you give your wrists a good roll out because you're gonna flip to the front. And I want you to bring your forearms back down towards the ground. Elbows back underneath the shoulders. Fingertips forwards. Wrist issues, you can make a little fist like this. Knees must be here underneath the hips. Underneath the hips. Underneath the hips. Squeeze now your right heel in. You're gonna press that right toe up. Then you can either stay here, but you'll run the risk of sinking into the supporting hip like that. So we're gonna bring our left palm and we're gonna push it under our left shoulder. Now this knee is gonna come, inhale in, it's gonna go exhale, push. Now imagine your knees are like, are on two train tracks, push all the way up. Go inhale, knees here, in line with your hips. Do not miss filming outside. If you've been working out with me for a long time, you know where I live, there's loads of bugs. One bug has just fell out of a hair, underneath my forearm, it's currently crawling up my arm, but if I let that forearm go, <laughs> I'm just gonna fall over. So I'm just gonna have to grin and bear it. Well, you go, up press, knees are in line with the hips, don't sink into the supporting hip, press in towards this forearm. You've got two, lift, up and press. One more, close it down. Lift up, press, we hold. We're gonna pulse it for 10. Pulse the toe, pulse the toe. Nine, eight, seven, we're rolling that knee in five. It's burning right, four, three, two, one. The knee now comes in. Oh my gosh, it goes round and it pushes to the sky. Yes, it comes in, let's burn together. We roll it, we push it all the way up. We hug our abs in as tight as we can and we lift our eye line just in front of that front forearm wrist. Press round and cycle. You've got two, roll it, reach it. One more, I know, roll it, reach it, up and hold. Now, this left forearm, drop it to me. Bring this right hand down and we're gonna roll without lowering this leg all the way onto our side hip. Knees come forward. This leg's gonna push into a pretzel, squeeze round front. Push into a pretzel, squeeze round in front. Just four, press and push. We squeeze it in, three, press and push. Go inhale in, two more. Go bring it back, bring it in and hold in and hold. This top knee now. You're gonna give me that little circle, but make it even smaller. Where you go, little roll, little roll, little roll. The way I said that then, it's like, hello, you have made it through to my line. <laughs> Where you go, roll, roll it, roll it. See for that, oh, I feel like I'm on the, um, the teacups being a GJ. Roll it, roll it. Oh, just can't be normal, can I? Roll it, roll it. Don't let this leg drop out. Just because maybe you're laughing, hopefully. Go roll, go roll. You got eight, you got seven, six, you've got five. Hold it four, hold it three, hold it two. Now hold. If you want to, you're going to try and extend that toe to me. Yes, I know. I'm bringing it back in again. Keep going. Extend that toe to me. Bring it back in. Sometimes when I'm teaching in the studio and I do see a little jump like that, like two people laugh out of the nine that are in there. <laughs> and I think, did you miss my joke? Or are you just in that much pain that you can't concentrate? Or am I just not funny? Back in again. It's true for what, 80% of people in there? All the way out. 
squeeze and you got two. Press and push. Squeeze it in one line now. We press and push, we squeeze it in. Now you're gonna bring that big toe, you can, to me. Woo. We're gonna go up and up. Don't sink into this back hip. Bring that toe to me and lift it. Now arm goes high for eight, for seven, six, five, yes, four, yes, three, two, one. Ah. Okay, roll around, roll around. Why does burning look so happy? You're gonna roll it round, roll it round. Draw the elbows back underneath the shoulders, and now you must go other leg. So now left heel into the left glute, knees here or underneath the hips. Breathe in, push the forearms down, and as you exhale, send that leg now all the way to the sky. Knee in line with your hip. You don't wanna sink like this and roll. Push, lengthen. Put a ruler up your T-shirt, and bring your eye line to your wrists. When you're ready, bring that right palm under the shoulder. Can't quite get that technique, don't worry. Bring both the forearms down, but really make sure you're not sinking the sporting hip. The knee goes, inhale in. It goes, exhale, push. It goes, inhale in. It goes, exhale, push. Keep going, slowly and control it. You wanna really have control in your movement. The more control you have over every single inch of this movement, the more you're gonna really strengthen, lengthen, and tone your muscles. So it's not about flinging round, we're not using momentum and joints, we're really honing and working those muscles. That's how we're gonna get that ballerina body. Go up, press, lift. Two more, inhale, squeeze it. Exhale, push. If you've got a mirror nearby, every time you lift that toe to the air, you'll see your butt now go a little peachy press. Now we're gonna go up pulse, up pulse. So as you lift that leg up, you'll see your butt round out. As you push this time, you want that rounding shape through the butt, but make it smaller. Little lift, I know. Little lift, four, six, four, five, four, three, two, one. Circle, inhale in, hardest bit. We exhale, roll it round. We inhale, scoop it in. Yes, we exhale, roll it round. Keep that forearm down. Don't sink into the supporting hip just because it's getting hard right now. You've got two. We roll, we push and press. One more. We come in, we roll, we push and press, and we hold. Now your right forearm goes down. You're gonna roll onto that side hip to me. Sweep that leg forwards. Come round 90 degrees. Little roll, little roll, little roll, little roll. We go, tiny roll round. Inhale, keep going, exhale, roll it, roll it. It's not good is it to look at your stopwatch and think, oh my God, one minute 40 of this to go. <laughs> gonna die. We go roll. We can do it. We're in it together. We go roll and roll. Think of those brand new bodies. We have six. We have five. We have four. We're gonna pretzel in three, in two, in one. Now you're gonna push round into that pretzel like we did first side and then squeeze it forwards again. If you've done what I've done, you've not got enough room to push backwards. Just shimmy on forwards a little bit, but don't drop the leg. We come all the way forwards. We go push back, keep that 90. As you press back, where your jeans pocket would be, underneath there where your jeans crease in your butt cheek, that's where you want to push from every time you go round to your shoulder. We push and press, push there now, but don't move the lumbar spine. It's just a little squeeze. Push, keep the lumbar spine still. Push, squeeze it, round. Two more, press it back, Whew. press it forwards. One more here, we go press it back, and you're gonna press it forwards and hold. Stay there. If you do decide to do this workout again, sorry I didn't give the modification earlier on, you can lie down into the full body if the side body's hurting, but try and stay lifted from it. We go X and press, go inhale in. We go X and press, bring that toe to me. Inhale in, two more. We X and push it. We inhale, squeeze in one more. We're gonna X and press all the way in now, all the way in. You can either stay there and pulse, or if you want to, top toe to me. Let's pulse it up. Lift it, lift it. You have made it through 18 minutes with me. We are not done yet though. We lift it, we lift it. We've still got abs to get through. Lift it, four, six, lift the leg. Five, lift that leg. Four, lift the leg. Three, two, one. Okay, okay. Flip your feet round back to where we originally came from and lower yourself down. Bring your hands around the side of the hips. Rearrange your leggings on your pants if you need to, your knickers. We call them knickers, I don't think they 
do another crunch so there. Knees in towards the chest, hands go around the side of your hips. Push your lumbar spine into the floor now. Draw the knees into the chest, no tabletop today, but you must make sure your lower back is imprinted in towards your mat or soft surface. Inhale as you exhale. One leg's gonna go long, see how that feels. Can you maintain that long neutral spine? Squeeze it in. Now the other knee now is gonna go all the way out. We're gonna press length and push. We come back in again, inhale, exhale. We go out, press, push. We squeeze it in. Now bring your fingertips towards your ears. And as you lengthen, you're gonna reach that arm out and you're gonna squeeze fingertips back to the ear. So we go, lengthen, press. If that's enough for you, stay right there. Listen to your body. Keep the lumbar spine pushing down to the floor. If you want it harder with me, inhale, exhale, both legs. It's a little bit trickier, right? We go, squeeze in, we tap the ears. Inhale, keep those ankles glued together like you've got a piece of string tying your ankles together. Breathe, inhale, exhale, knees stay together, exhale, press. Now shoulders down the floor, head is now grounded down to your mat and we have your lumbar spine push the floor, lengthen and squeeze it back in again. Keep going, inhale as you exhale, push and lengthen. Next level, want it harder, inhale, exhale, give me a little curl up, curl up, reach again. No momentum is gonna get you there. It is all about the ab wall, breathe, inhale. This is your ab section, so really make those abs work for you, make it worthwhile switching me on today on YouTube. Inhale as you exhale. Re reach, length and press. Yes. How far can you get the head, neck, shoulders up? How much can you really control that action? This is when that Pilates practice really comes in. Squeeze it back in, fingertips to the ears. Inhale, exhale. Do you know what I felt like I was then? One of those horse race commentators. And we have number 10. Come into the front of the... <laughs> Press it all the way up and squeeze it back in. You've got three more. Inhale as you exhale. Press and we push, reach, squeeze it in. Two more, now can we stay up there? Press, push, reach. If you've not changed levels yet, maybe take it off this last one. Inhale as, as you exhale. We're gonna press up and we're gonna hold. So if you've got your back on the floor, reach the fingertips long. If you've got one leg out, hold there. We switch every few seconds. If not, stay there. Now palms up, palms down, palms up, yes. Palms down, palms up, I know. Tap, lift it, tap it down, lift it. For five, and up, go four, go up. Go three, chin to the chest. You got two, up, one, up. Well done, knees in, rock it back. Gently rock it forwards. Now bring your hands back underneath the shoulders. And you're gonna tuck your toes and hover in a little all fours. We're gonna push the hips, hips up, heels go down, down dog. Now lift the heels and lower down. Here's your yoga intention. Inhale as you exhale, push and press. If you want the modified version, the knees tap the floor. Do with me in the advancement today. Knees don't tap, all the way up, press. Now if you're feeling a little bit fruity, spicy, feel like you can go three legs of dog with this. Inhale, push it. We go, just swallowing my neck, close. Inhale, bring it in. Inhale, it's hard for those abs, press. Inhale, squeeze it in. We exhale, push and we press. Inhale in, I know. Exhale and we push. If you're still on that double leg dog, keep going. One more, we press all the way up. And now you're gonna bring it back in and hover the knees. Both the feet drop down. Drop the knees now if you need the modified option. Breathe in and breathe, exhale. You're gonna go other leg. So other leg up, inhale. You're gonna exhale, bring that knee in. Inhale, exhale, all the way up and press. All the way, squeeze. Really, I shouldn't wear this necklace today. I'm completely eating it. We go all the way up. Go all the way, Rocky era. Inhale in. We go, exhale, press and lift. Squeeze it in. If you're still on that double leg dog, keep going. You got two more. Up and press. Go, inhale in. One more. Go up, press, lift. Go, inhale in. Now drop both the toes. Chug the toes, lift those knees. Breathe in, breathe out. Send one foot back, send the other foot back. Drop your left forearm down. Drop that right forearm down. Clasp the hands together. Elbows under the shoulders. Need the modified option right now. Drop those knees down. If not, stick with me. One straight line through the body. This is it. You are so done with your tailor tone workout. You've made it. You have though. A little hold to finish off. We can do this. Squeeze your ab wall in nice and tight, belly button to the spine. Pull your belly button away from the front of your leggings. Go five, go four, three, two, Ooh. one. Bring both your hands on top of one another. 
draw the hips back, open the knees and allow the chest to drop down. Imagine I'm pushing your hips in towards your heels and imagine I'm pulling your fingertips away from your head. Slowly roll yourself all the way up, hands on towards your thighs, and little shoulder roll, little shoulder roll. Bring the hands behind the back, interlace the fingertips, press the chest forwards. Draw your inner thighs together, one of my favorite stretches. Drop the head down and allow your fingertips to rock forwards while still maintaining your hips down to your heels. Let the hands go. You're gonna carefully and gently lift yourself all the way up. Come side on towards me and I want you to let send your legs out in front of yourself. Hook your right foot over the top of your left leg and you're gonna draw it in. Now if that's enough for you, stay right there. Ground both the hips, the glutes on the mat. If you want to though, full yoga intention, bend the underneath leg, hook this leg on top, drop that sit bone back down and try and wrap around. So whatever intention you're in, just hold it. I want you to feel the stretch through the glute after all that seat work. And roll the shoulders down. And second side. So now you wanna go other way. Hook that leg over the top. Bend the leg if you want to carefully. And then roll it round. You wanna try and get this sit bone down to the floor. You will always have one more flexible side than the other. Say hello to me. <laughs> Open and twist, breathe in and breathe, exhale. Whatever exercise you do, I want you to try and hold those stretches for 10 seconds for the most benefit. Then bring both the feet forward, so you're gonna roll all the way around on towards your hands and your knees. And let's go back and towards that down dog. Tuck the toes, press the hips high, drop down, down dog. Bring your hands in towards your feet, drop down. Nod the head yes, like we did at the start, and shake it no. Take a deep bend through the knees, allow the hips to drop and sequentially unravel and roll safely away. When you get here, you're gonna bring your hands up into a prayer. Bring your head, your eye line towards me. Lift the heels now, drop the heels now. Bend the knees, ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips, abs in tight. Breathe in through the nose. And exhale, close the eyes. Give yourself a little second here if you want to. Appreciate what your body's just done. Appreciate your workout. Give yourself a little clap. <laughs> and well done, you made it through your 26 minute tailor toned workout with me today. Hope you absolutely loved that one. Give me a massive thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you again soon. <laughs>